Hi, Mander. Hi. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. At the time of this recording, folks, uh, Halloween is actually tomorrow. So it's All Hallows Eve. Yeah. So uh, we have a special spooky sode for you. It's going to be fun. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm wearing my... Let me move my mic so you can see it. Sanderson Sisters Witch Museum sweatshirt that I wear all year round. Because yeah. I am a Sanderson I, I, sister. I'm just wearing something that I got from Stranger Things, so that's kind of spooky. Yeah. Um, it's the shirt that Dustin wears at one point. So. Ooh, fun. Yes, okay. so I'm wearing that one. Awesome. Um, and I have to wear my cans today, so... Oh my my nice wireless shit is uh dead. Like like uh All possibly Jeremy in this AI mm -hmm. story. Mm hmm So uh Jeremy might get murked today, y'all. We're gonna find out. But uh we have a special Halloween themed episode of the show. Uh I think I wanna make a special graphic for it. We'll find it. You'll you'll know when it airs yeah. if the graphic was there or not. You'll know. Um but we have a special spooky mad lib. We have a very long AI story. And uh, a yawn. Because what else is new? Yawn number one. Yawn number one. Yawn when we get real good at video editing, I'll put a yawn counter somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what else we got? Oh, just our favorite Halloween memories and some spooky stories of our <laughs> own to share with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So let's, uh, let's do this. You ready? Yes. You want to read the we're going to read the AI story first, yeah? Sure. Sounds okay. good. All right, I'm reading today. So uh, hold on to your tits, because uh, it's about to get spooky in this bitch. We're probably not going to be able to get, you know, whatever YouTube gives you when you don't cuss within the first however many minutes, because I just said a word, but it's fine. Okay, are you ready for uh, the adventures of Jeremy Halloween style? Here we go. Oh, hold on. I can't, I can't do that. And we didn't even tell anybody who we were or what's happening or why no. we're here. No I intro light, whatsoever. Speaking of Halloween and witchy shit, I got to light our little candle that I light. I have one going already, but I have to write our, light our other little birthday ones. Is it the, is it the uh, black candle? It is. It's the black one, the witchy ball one. That's mm -hmm. my protection one. Um, and then I have two little blue one, two little blue birthday candles next to it for, uh, for some clarity, some mental clarity. Um, I will uh, take a little picture for the Discord so that you guys can see their picture taken. That'll be on Discord. Go check it out. Uh, anyway, hi, this is the Neurodivergent Convergence Podcast, <laughs> where we always forget to introduce ourselves. Yep. I'm Nikki. Every time. And that's Amanda. Yep. Uh, and we're we're professionals, as you can tell. <laughs> and we are two neurodivergent best friends who uh, have a podcast and talk about neurodivergent shit and our experience with it being late diagnosed neurodivergent women. So uh, this is this is what it is. Welcome to it. Uh, if you're watching, this is be the second time you're ever seeing our faces on YouTube. Fucking hopefully after that. God. <laughs> damn fiasco that was <laughs> trying to launch the fucking YouTube. I mean, did we not talk the entire episode about how you could finally see our faces and mm -hmm. it was so exciting and we're finally live on YouTube. Da -da -da -da. And how many meltdowns did I have trying to release this mother fucking video? <laughs> how many, Amanda? No, no less than three. Five. Yeah, no less than three. Oh my god. My boss is calling me, but she's gonna have to wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, Amy. Uh, so, yeah. So, what was I saying? Talking about YouTube. That's right. YouTube. Launching team. Uh, fucking meltdown from hell. Uh, several many times. Because it would, it was so glitchy. And then this recording platform that's fucking wonderful that we pay good money for. Right? Fucking had me talking over her. So, like, when it mastered our shit together it made me talk over her so then i had to rip the audio off and separate that so i could at least put something out on spotify on the day we were supposed to drop an episode and then that delayed everything even further and uh, i was just huh. 
It was so fresh to remember. And then, and then when you posted the YouTube video, I'm like, I look at it, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, I fu- that was it. I finally thought I got it. I'm like, it's perfect. I got it. I got it. Then and I upload the like, YouTube video, and she's fucking, like, glitching. Like, yep. doing the fucking, what is love? Mm-hmm. Baby, don't hurt me. Dance this one, you know? <laughs> yeah, she's doing like, that. the entire yeah. episode. The entire yep. episode. And I'm like, the audio's fuck. fine. Video, it is video's fucked to all hell. Yeah. Fuck. Like, I was so mad. So motherfucking mad. Okay? We're so motherfucking mad. We're stupid. <sighs> We're very stupid. We're very mad. But anyway, we are putting... I have all of the witchy shit happening right now. We are putting the good vibes into the fucking universe. The eclipse is over. Okay? It's over. Is is, is is Mercury in Gatorade anymore? No, Mercury is not in the Gatorade. We had our last Mercury being in the Gatorade a month or so ago, I think, at this point. Because I'm a bad witch. I don't remember. But we just had a lunar eclipse... Okay, we had a full moon, lunar eclipse in Taurus. Eclipse energy is chaos energy, okay? It's just chaos all the fucking time. And uh, it's not okay. And also full moon energy is also chaos, right? It's just big, it's it's expansive, there's a lot going on, people act a fucking fool. Uh, and then you pair that with a lunar eclipse, and it's fucking a small slice of hell on Earth, okay? That's what occurred here. And we, uh, it was on the 28th that this happened. So we are a few days removed. It's over now. Uh, so we should, for the love of fuck, <laughs> be able to get this episode out intact in one fucking piece. Pray to the gods of whatever you believe in that this shit comes out proper. I don't have a VPN on. Okay? I don't. Uh, I'm not using a Bluetooth thingy. So, I don't know. We'll fucking see what happens. But I fucking digress. These candles are burning very quickly. Like the birthday ones are burning very rapidly. But it's fine. Um, let's let's talk about Jeremy's spooky situation. Okay, you okay. ready? Yes. Every, every every just for you people who don't understand. Every episode when we talk about neurodivergent shit together, we like to have a little bit of fun first because I feel like it sort of sets the tone, gives us a good, little bit of little bit of good energy to go off of. So we read y'all an AI generated story from the lovely folks over at Inferkit, not sponsored. And then we do a Mad Lib. And uh this thought being Jeremy has been formed over time now, over 27 episodes. Uh and he has become a thing. He's sort of taken over the show. He's kind of a thought being born of us. Uh we are learning more and more about him each week. And this is no different. So we're going to learn a little bit more about Jeremy, but in a Halloween setting from our lovely AI. Okay, here we go. We're going we're gonna to get into it right now. Huck it. Please don't distract me by putting okay. things in here. Okay, because my brain, <laughs> she, she don't want to work anyway. So can we just please be nice to me and not distract me by putting comments okay. and emojis? I, I won't. I <laughs> okay. promise this time. Uh, and if this you time. need subtitles, if you need subtitles, uh, I have a link in the description if you're on youtube and in the show notes if you're listening on spotify or anywhere else that has show notes please pop over to that link there it says um ai story subtitles click that you can follow along on a google doc uh to this story if you need subtitles when you are listening to someone speak okay burp ready okay here we go the sentence i gave the ai was this Having been preoccupied with the battle between the loyal and the opposed, Jeremy, the psychic cat, had all but forgotten the passing of time. He knew it must be close to Samhain. Uh, Most people will see that spelled Samhain. It's Samhain. Take it from the witch. Samhain. Or as the normies call it, Halloween. Because his powers were growing stronger and his visions were clearer. This always happens as the veil between worlds grows thin. And this is where the AI kicks in. He'd finally begin telling tales to anyone who would pay attention. But what could he say to his only friend? Samhain, huh? You should stop by my house on Halloween. We should carve pumpkins. It's one of those silly stories the two often told each other, or or told each other whenever they were alone. Neither were particularly creative, so they would just take turns coming up with ridiculous puns and weird facts about the holiday. Their fun was interrupted when one of them lost focus. Fucking shocker. Uh, not neurodivergent uh, psychic cat Jeremy losing focus. <laughs> <laughs> it's real fun. Here we go, ready? Samhain? What's that mean, Jeremy? 
I don't know. Samhain is a thing some people in the world believe in. I can show you sometime. I think it's on the 31st of this month. But it's already October. Oh, right. Time passes faster when you turn into a cat. Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> now, mind you, I'm reading it this way with no, oh, they said or he said or Jeremy said or whatever, because it's not here. The AI just said, fuck your punctuation and your understanding who's speaking and when. You figure it out. Okay, here we go. Whatever you say, buddy. After a few seconds of silence, Jeremy realized Samhain was drawing near. Wait, is this like the one in The Legend of Zelda where Link is the hero and is going to save his friends, but it turns out he's the bad guy? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Samhain is where all your friends go for the night, but you never come back. What? <laughs> it's true. I know. I saw it too. Well, then why do I see that black magic crow all the time? Yeah, but if you were to talk to him, you might find out he's helping you. Then again, he might just think you're a moron who has no idea about ba about magic. That doesn't seem likely. You're not a moron. Yeah, you're pretty <laughs> smart for a cat. For a psychic cat. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> laughed as he began stalking the crow outside. It was going to be Samhain, so the crow wouldn't be any safer. If it was looking for that thing shadowing him everywhere he goes, he might be able to trick it into thinking he was just another cat going about his business. It seems so trivial. He should probably get over it. Jeremy continued stalking his friend as the crow continued trying to persuade him otherwise. It wasn't until he noticed that the crow wasn't on the tree branch anymore that he finally realized why it wouldn't come to him anymore. That black cloud! It's trying to convince me it's there! It's just a black cloud. I don't care. I have to find out what it wants. Jeremy, you can't just go chasing after it. What are you going to do? Throw rocks at it? There's no way you can fight something like that. Hey, I'll be fine. Just trust me on this, okay? Okay, fine. You win. Just be careful. That thing could eat you for lunch if you get, get in its way. That would be the first time a cat could say that and get away with it. Good for you. Here comes the bus. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Good for you. Here comes the bus. This AI has fucking lost its mind. Jeremy jumped back as the black cat... Oh, fuck. That's a difficult sentence to say. Let me rewind and try that again. Jeremy jumped back as the black cat... No, that's not what it says. Fucking dyslexia, help. Jeremy jumped back as the black cloud cat's shape became visible and began climbing up to him. Fucking gross. That makes me want to go like that. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was not happy to see him. Please stop following me, it said. I've had enough of this. It would be good to help you out, but I'll, but I'll only do it if you help me. How? What do you want? I need to know who you are. And why would I do that? You said your name was the crow. That's the name of my species, but I'm not a crow. I'm something Lee? far more powerful than that. I'm a dark mage. I know, but who are you? My name is Chrome. I'm a dark mage. What do you want to know? Oh. I can't tell you that. I'm the mage. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Fucking help. My brain just died. I'm the wait, I can't tell you that. I'm the mage. That was funnier, but it's not what it says. <laughs> My name is Chrome. <laughs> okay, Chrome doesn't understand what is happening, and we don't know who's talking, but just we're going to try that again. Now we're on. You're on first. Okay, try again. <laughs> this is so bad with dyslexia, I'm telling you right now. My name is Chrome. I'm a dark mage. What do you want to know? Oh, I, I can't tell you that. I'm the dark mage said. That's my most powerful weapon. And it could be could very well be my undoing. Well, aren't you a drag? <laughs> just because... <laughs> Sorry. You guys just imagine. I'm going to just start putting Jeremy said and things in here, even though it's not what it says, because it's really fucking weird to just listen to me jump from person to person. Just because I'm evil doesn't mean I have to be boring. I can show you my charm, the dark mage said. Oh, you don't have to. I already know that you're a dark mage. What I want to know is how you got that mark on your face, Jeremy said. The dark mage paused as he noticed Jeremy's new fangs. How do you know about those? My cousin, uh, Jeremy says, my cousin works for a circus and the chimps at their zoo got into a fight over a banana that went horribly wrong. He got a hold of one of the bananas and pretended to put it in his mouth, and a black cloud appeared and ate him. 
ate his face and everything. Oh, that's horrible, the mage said. Yeah, he's been very popular. Every kid in town has been begging to get their face eaten off. You get the idea, Jeremy said. I see, Chrome said, as he scratched the back of his head and licked his lips. That was weird. That's fine. I just did it, though. Well, how did you get the mark? It's from a street fight, Jeremy said. I got this one while defending my friend. My mistake. I should have asked for a trade. Trade? You mean I didn't offer you a banana in return? <laughs> Only if you had a banana ready and willing to exchange. A banana? I can't do that. That isn't my trade. Well, what's your trade? I'm good at magic, the mage said. Ah, I see. Chrome looked over Jeremy. No, Chrome looked Jeremy over. I guess we can work out a trade. Give me the mark, and I'll show you my true form, and we can discuss a trade. Jeremy hesitated for a moment, then shook his head. Fine, let's see what you got. You're going to have to do a lot more than show me your face, though. Jeremy continued walking down the street, looking back to make sure the Dark Mage was following him. What are you doing, Chrome said. I'm pretty sure this place doesn't allow anything more than a friendly trade. This town is a safe haven for mages, Jeremy said. There are dozens of places where I can trade my mark. Hang on, my headphones are doing something weird. Okay, sorry guys. We're leaving it in, I don't fucking care. That's where we're at in life. Okay. I see, Chrome said. A, fr a frown on his- Whoa, what a weird fucking way to put that sentence. I see, Chrome said, a frown on his face. Maybe there's a place near here where we can exchange. It's starting to sound like a fucking drug deal, man. <laughs> if there I got is, something to show you. Opens, I opens something trench to show coat. You. Yeah. <laughs> if there is, I don't know about it. I mean, or I thought the meeting was set for next week. It is, but I'm a mage, not a clock. I need more time <clears> to get ready. Let's go to my place and we can talk about it there. Jeremy followed. Chrome to a spot close to the city center. It was a nice neighborhood with a goddamn it. <sighs> why? Why in the middle of a mother effing sentence do I have to yawn? Because your headphones. I know. I fucking hate it. This is why I wear the fucking wireless ones. So they don't squeeze my fucking brain off. Okay. Jeremy followed Chrome to a spot close to the city center. It was a nice neighborhood with a comfortable mix of tall houses with trees, single family homes, and low rent apartment buildings. Is that rude to say? I feel like that's rude to say. <laughs> so, so this is where you live, Jeremy said, staring up at one of the taller apartment buildings. That's a bit expensive, isn't it? Yeah, but my parents make it work. I should get some money soon, though. And then I'll get a nicer place. Jeremy couldn't stop staring. The building looked almost brand new. The lawn was freshly mowed, and the landscaping looked freshly, tw freshly trimmed. Wow. It even had a small <laughs> car... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. My brain's not working. It even had a small car parked on the front walk. Why does your dad own that much property? He's hardly that rich. God damn, Jeremy's nosy. Because my father owns quite a few of the buildings here. Chrome smiled and gave Jeremy a wink. That was the most awkward wink ever. Ready? Try again. No, it's still <laughs> awkward. Okay. So my face doesn't want to do that thing. Okay. So, so what about this place, Chrome said, pointing to a slight... Oh, so what about this place, Chrome said, pointing to a slightly dilap dilapidated... Fucking hell! I cannot read! This is gonna be real interesting for anybody listening, and I'm fucking sorry. <sighs> so what about this place, Chrome said, pointing to a slightly dilapidated three-story building with peeling paint. What's wrong with it, Jeremy said. Well, there's a crack in the wall and a bit of mold growing up the front steps. Also, there are these weird red ants with big beaks everywhere. I don't know what they are, but they're kind of freaky. What are you trying to say, Jeremy said. Well, your place doesn't seem that bad, but it's far nicer than that. Well, that's because it's mine, Chrome said. I haven't gotten around to cleaning it yet, but my parents did a pretty good job of clearing away all of the debris after the flood. Oh, and you do all of this while you live here, Jeremy said? looking up at Chrome with raised eyebrows. Actually, I have other places where I do most of my magic research and development, Chrome said. I just keep a spare room here. For when I have guests. Spare room? Well, why would you need guests? Jeremy asked. No reason. Chrome turned to face Jeremy, a tiny grin on his face. I mean, I could entertain myself just fine. Fucking creeper. 
Jeremy looked at Chrome. It was almost impossible to take your eyes off of him. The magic of his voice the, and his presence drew you in, seemingly coming from the very air around you. You're getting drunk, aren't you? Chrome grinned. I'm drunk as shit, Jeremy answered back with a grin. <laughs> but I'm getting over it. Riley was back with a shot, and even Danny was downing one. <clears throat> that was fucking hell. That was three people down already. Aggie, Chrome said in a... Oh, fucking, he's whispering shit. Aggie, Chrome said in a quiet whisper. Aggie, can you keep an eye on Sam? Aggie answered. Sam and Riley were a tight unit. They always were. Aggie shook her head and turned back to the bar. Shit, she breathed. Sam and Riley had passed out on top of the deck. Sam's arms wrapped around Riley's neck. The deck was also littered with empty shots, glasses, and bottle caps. Jaw? What, is this where you're trying to say it was saying ya? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ya, yeah, Chrome said. Ya, yeah, trick, ya. Ya. Ya, trick, ya. Yeah. Do you remember that song? <laughs> ya, yeah, trick, ya. Yeah. can't say anything else i can't see it without saying it god damn my spicy brain okay <laughs> i want to find a fucking soundboard that says yacht trick yacht put in it every time oh okay okay i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine okay <laughs> sorry i can't say it now <laughs> it says it a lot i just want to point out it says it a lot in this <laughs> Just, just to peel, just to peel back the curtain. She ran out of words on her AI story, yeah. so she's like, "Here," and she gave oh. me like the part ending a part of it. And she's like, "Can you make it just make it have an ending?" I said, "Sure." So just kept adding all this random shit, even more random. And so that's this is where it came in for me. Oh fuck! Okay, yeah, Chrome said, "Better <laughs> tell Riley to get his ass up and help Sam." Chrome smiled. No, Jeremy responded, shaking his head. I don't think so. They're having a spooky seance in the sky right now. I think it would be better if we have the space. <laughs> Chrome laughed. I don't know what a spooky seance is, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> Danny and Jake walked up to Jeremy and Chrome, and Danny spoke first. Can I talk to you for a second? I'm in the middle of something, Danny. Actually, that's not true. Jake spoke up. Now there's fucking- Who's Jake? I don't know. I'm leaving. Jake walked away with Jake. Oh, okay, the shoe Jakes. Leaving Danny and Jeremy alone. <laughs> Danny just stood there, staring at Jeremy with a frown on his face. Yeah, I'm having, I'm just thinking about going home. Want to go home? <laughs> Jeremy laughed out loud. Yeah, do you think we could keep your mouth? Whoa, let me try that again. <laughs> Jeremy laughed out loud. Yeah, do you think you could keep your mouth shut for a little while? I'm thinking of these Germans just like trying to have like yeah. like the Germans in Pitch Perfect Three yeah. or whatever one that was. Like... <laughs> okay. <sighs> to be, f if you're not looking at the subtitles, they're doing J A H. That's what they're all saying to each other. J A H. So this is what we're going yeah for. Okay. <laughs> Danny Danny took a step forward and walked up to Jeremy. His eyes flashed red for a moment, and then Jeremy tensed up a little. The hell? Danny said. <laughs> the hell? Danny said, pushing himself into Jeremy, pushing him back against the edge of the deck. They stood there looking at each other. Danny leaned forward, staring down Jeremy. Yeah, Danny answered. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, Danny answered. <laughs> fucking end. The end. It's done. No, it's not done. Fuck. I thought we were it's done. Not. It's not. It's <laughs> not. I thought you just, I thought you were taking creative liberty and there ending it there. There is more fucking hell. Okay. Whew. Okay. We're almost done, though. We're almost okay. done. Danny grabbed Jeremy's shirt and lifted him up. He threw him down against the deck with a small thud. He threw him with a, th a small thud? That'd be a large thud. Well, if Jeremy's a cat, maybe not. Jeremy jumped on top. What? No. He jumped on top of Jeremy, pinning him down. 
Jeremy looked up and saw Aggie standing next to Jake. Jake's back. Her mouth was open. Her eyes wide. There's two Jakes. Remember, only one of the Jakes left. That's right. That's right. (laughs) She had the strangest look on her face. Danny was sprawled out on top of Jeremy, and his hands were just on Jeremy's chest. Danny laughed, breathing hard. You just caught yourself, didn't you? (laughs) Aggie was still staring at Danny. Then she jumped down from Jake's arms. Oh, now she's in his arm. Okay. Stood up and backed away from them. She stopped, turning around. I don't know what to do, Aggie said. Aggie, Jeremy said softly. Yes, Jeremy? You're different. I can feel it in your touch. You're stronger. Aggie frowned. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. You're spooky. <laughs> yeah, Aggie said. Anymore. <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> she stepped back from Jeremy. Yeah, that is strange. I feel strange. Aggie, come on, let's go. I want you to meet Jake. Yeah, Aggie sighed. Yeah. Now we're done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, trick, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's funnier if one of us starts the AI story and like just say puts that into another AI story to see what it comes up with. <laughs> to do that from now on. This is so funny. Yeah, trick, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> just start answering you like that when we message each other. If you send me a yes or no question, I'm gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or nine. 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 <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I don't even know what any of that looked like on camera, but I don't care. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. That was funny as shit. Okay. I gotta compose myself. Oh, yeah, trick, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. That was so funny. Okay. We're moving on to some more fuckery. I have, a. Uh, uh, we are, have been in our Pokemon Mad Lib for the last couple things, but because this is a special sode, uh, I am busting out the Chonky Thickums. Ch- chonker She's over here. Thickums. She this a Chonker. The- yeah, I mm-hmm. mean, listen, I pulled no fucking punches when we decided to do this show. I bought the thickest of Mad Libs, okay? The Chonkiest. Three C's. Three C's. With three C's. Bitch got three C's, okay? She um, got thick thighs. They got thickums. This is the 50 years of Mad Libs. Over 125 class of Mad Lib stories inside. Okay, so within the pages of this chonkums is a story called A Spooky, Scary, Slimy Story. We're gonna do it. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Okay, ma'am. I need an adjective, please. <clears throat> Okay, so I tried do- sticking with the theme. So the first one I got for you is bloody. Okay, hold on. I gotta move my mic for a minute or I can't write. Head piece. <clears throat> okay, so you have bloody. Yep. Bloody bastard. Okay. Bloody bastard. Okay, uh, hold on. It'd be better if I could spell. All right, how about a verb? As I wipe my nose, sorry. Ending in I end. God damn it, I'm not well. <laughs> hold please. I'm not sick, but I'm not well. Okay, verb ending in ing. <clears throat> Decapitating. Oh, fuck. That's a... Okay. Decapitating. Okay, noun. Occult. Occult. Uh, plural noun. I got sure poltergeist. I my gains. Okay. Poltergeist. Part of body. Mummified hand. Mummified hand. Adjective. Quit hitting the fucking mic with the pen, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna move this out the way. So I might be kind of quiet for a minute. Okay. Demonic. Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, Another adjective, please. Since we couldn't be the Pokemon one. uh, Ghastly. Okay. Well, I was going to try to find, like, a ghost-type Pokemon 
Mad Lib, but I'm like, nah, let's just do this. No, okay. it's okay. I was like, I was like, oh, gosh, that's also Pokemon and also Halloween themed. <gasps> yes, yes, it is. Uh, noun, please. Curse. Curse. Or you'll be cursed. Okay. Uh, adverb. Nefariously. Okay. Nefariously. Noun. Uh, seance. Say. Can't spell it. Sure. That's not right, but okay. Adjective. Macabre. Macabre. That's how I know how to spell it. Uh, adjective again. Ghoulish. Ghoulish. A goulash. Okay, verb. Yep. Haunt. Noun. Necromancy. Ew. Is Rob Not necrophilia, again? you weirdo. Still. Get some living dead girl up in this bitch. Rob Zombie. I have a fun story. It's a Halloween related story. Remind me about my Rob Zombie story, okay? Another okay. noun. Grimoire. Ooh. I have one of those. Because I'm a witch. Okay, adjective. Murderous. Murderoso. Okay. Got it. Okay. Let me fold up my chonkums here. Hold on. Eh. Get back to my mic here. Get her put back where she goes. Okay. Listen here, ma'am. You Listen, still hear me ma'am. okay? Yes. Be good? Okay. Great, mm-hmm. great, wonderful. Here we go. Ready? A spooky, scary, slimy story. It was a dark and bloody night. The wind was decapitating through the trees. <laughs> <laughs> and off in the distance, wolves were howling at the occult. I wanted to get home as fast as my poltergeist could carry me. <laughs> that tracks. Mm-hmm. My mummified hand was pounding, and my breath was coming in demonic gasps. Suddenly, I felt the ghastly hand of a curse touch my neck, and I screamed nefariously. The monster lifted me off the seance and threw me onto the macabre ground. Then, with his ghoulish hands, he tried to haunt the necromancy out of me. (laughs) (laughs) I screamed so loudly, I woke up every gwim- Whoa. Whoa. That- Listen. (laughs) Mouth. Make the words. Let's try that again. You have one job. One job, bitch. And you fucking failed. Try again. I screamed so loudly, I woke up every grimoire in the forest. My scream awakened me, too. I was having a murderous nightmare. The fuck you were. You sure were. The it. Hmm. That was not climactic at all. It's no, fine. it's it's very short for how very many short. words it wanted from me. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. Okay, so that's our fun and fuckery for this evening. Time Only to took get thirty into minutes. It. Only took it's, thirty minutes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fucking about right. We spend about that much time either bullshitting or mad living or something. The first 30 minutes of every episode is just like bullshit. If you want to ever want to skip to the neurodivergent shit, which I don't know why you would. This is the best part of the whole episode is all the front half shit. Just sort of like go about 30 minutes in. You might find the topic somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. (laughs) Somewhere somewhere in here will be a topic. (laughs) Somewhere in here will be a topic. So uh, let's start kind of light and uh, fucking hell. Let's start with uh, favorite Halloween memories. Can be recent, can be past, can be whatever. Go. Um, well, I mean, this is not a favorite memory. It just every time I think about Halloween, I just think about the time I slept through Halloween. Um I think I, I've told you that before. It's uh I I went to bed, it was okay, so Halloween that not that year was on a Saturday. And I didn't have to work that day. This was when I was working at Barnes and Noble. Okay. And um I went to bed late Friday night. 
I didn't set an alarm because I didn't have to be anywhere until like 7 p.m. for like a Halloween party. And I had mm-hmm. my outfit all picked out. I was going to be Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I, when I checked my phone, when I got up, it read November 1st. So I thought I had like time traveled or something. <laughs> but, and so I'm like, surely my phone is wrong. And so, but I went on Facebook and see everyone's posts about about uh their Halloween parties and everything and I'm like, did I seriously sleep through Halloween? And the answer is yes. I slept about thirty or thirty two hours oh my without God. waking up once, without having to go to the bathroom, without having to get up and go get a drink. Nothing. And I wasn't sick. I just didn't set an alarm. And so that's what happens. Uh when you just let someone who normally doesn't get much sleep, well you just let them sleep as much as possible all of a sudden. So that's sort of medically scary i know but like i i mean it was fine i didn't like i said i wasn't sick i just nothing i just slept i didn't i, I didn't even wake up because i had to go to the bathroom i just woke up because it's like my body's like okay time to get up wow but, so that's not really a favorite memory because i miss halloween yeah. um but it's just the fact that i went to bed on the 30th and woke up on the 31st my lord or on the first of the year the first so completely slept through halloween and i'm and, like, apparently, obviously, no one, like, messaged me because it's, like, I was supposed to go to, like, a friend's party, but there was a bunch of other people going to the party, so it's not like they were, like, worried about me or anything. Right, right. Not, like, so no one really, if anyone texts me or anything, it's not like I would have probably woken up to it anyway because I get my phone on silent at all times because I'm right. an irresponsible and adult, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, otherwise, um, I don't know. I don't really do, growing up. My mom, it's not like that my parents were against Halloween. We just never, yeah. she just never really took me out trick or treating. Like, I, I think the first time I went trick or treating, I was 13. Oh, wow. Um, so I didn't, I didn't go trick or treating before that. We did like Halloween parties, like for school and stuff, yeah. but I can't really remember them. But yeah, I can't really think of very many except just for Halloween parties that I went to as an adult. Um, yeah. So, like, what about you? Um, I mean, I can't really say that I have a lot of favorite, like, Halloween and specific memories, because we did, like, trick-or-treat a lot. I think my, my, probably my favorite ones were when we would do, like, there was a couple of years we went to my uh, Uncle Jody and Aunt Laura's house, and they had, they threw, like, a little Halloween get-together every year for their cul-de-sac. Like, they just kind of lived in one of those nice neighborhoods where you had a cul-de-sac and you knew your neighbors and shit. So we would go it's over like there. It's like a Halloween block party, basically. Yeah, and we'd get to stay up all night long, and we'd take the littler kids trick-or-treating and still get candy and, like, got to stay up and, and have fun and run around the house and shit and stay up late. Because back then, I could stay up late. Like, when I was a teenager and in my 20s, I could make it. Uh, mm-hmm. Anymore, I'm the geriatric, and it's already creeping closer to my bedtime as we speak. Um, so... Uh, I think those were always fun where you get to like, hang out with your cousins all night long and that kind of shit. So I always like doing that kind of stuff. But I think um, like recently our family has kind of made this new little like Halloween tradition where which we skipped the last two weekends because tired. But we started this little tradition where like every weekend in October. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Sorry. I told you geriatric. Every weekend in October, we'll pick a different Halloween movie and watch it. So, um, like, last year we did it every weekend. This year we've only watched one because we're terrible. But, like, tomorrow we'll watch one um, before the kids go to bed. Um, But I try to marathon Halloween Town. Like, that's probably on the top of our list. Um, Yeah, we watched. that's what we watched last weekend was Halloween Town. Yeah, and then we just kind of go from there. But as far, like, I, I enjoy making my new... Like, my new stuff. Like, my new traditions and things like that. Now having the kids. And then, of course, it's a little different for me, too. Because, like I said, witch. And uh, I sort of... I don't just do Halloween things now. I also do, like, Samhain things. Like, witchy things. I have little rituals that I do. And I usually, like, refresh all my wards around my house at that time. Like, all my protection magic and shit. Because, as I said in the AI story, the veil be thin. So extra you know easy for the creepy crawly nasty nasties to get up in your house so i refresh all my shit so i have to do that tomorrow 
at some point, mm-hmm. which luckily I'm getting off early enough. My boss was nice enough to like let me off early so I could take kids trick or treating and shit. So like I'm gonna have to highly caffeinate tomorrow um and make sure that I can get through my night because I have a lot of fucking work to do tomorrow as a witch. Which we can get into it later if you want to. But okay, that sort of made me think about the movies and things. I want your favorite Halloween movies. Can be spooky, can be kid, doesn't matter, go. Um, I really like Nightmare Before Christmas. See, the thing is, is that I like the idea, like, theme around Halloween. I don't like anything scary. Same. Um, I, I can't do horror movies, like, especially supernatural Same. ones. Like, I would rather watch, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre mm-hmm. over, like, over something like The Exorcist. Like, I yeah. still refuse to this day to watch The Exorcist. Same. Like, I know, I know enough about pop culture. I've seen enough clips. Same. I got the gist. I don't need to see it. Same, like, I remember when I worked at the movie theater, and when one of the Halloween movies came out, it was, like, the first time I worked at the movie theater. It was 2007, so I was 17. And so I remember having to do one of the theater checks, and they go in, and I just see... I'm not going to describe it, because it's gross, but I remember... I think one of the Saw movies came out that summer, and, like, one of the Halloween movies came out. Um, like, Halloween, uh... Oh, not Mike Myers. Is it Mike Myers? Is Halloween yeah. Mike Myers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm like, yeah. So it was like a, it was like a, the the one that came out in 2007, I think was a, like here he was as a kid. So he was messed up as a kid. And so it showed oh. him as a kid, like doing something to an animal. Oh. And I walked in on that scene. I remember I walked in, walked about three feet, walked out and I'm like, nope. And then mm-hmm. walked right back out. So as far as Halloween movies, it's like, I like Nightmare for Christmas, and, like, of course I'm blanking on everything right, right now. Um, I'm thinking just, like, Disney Channel ones. Like, we watched yeah. Halloween Town. Uh, I remember being scared of, it's not a Halloween movie, but it's scary, at least for me as a kid, was Don't Look Under the Bed. Uh, that oh, movie scared yeah. the shit out of me when I was yeah. a kid. Um, but now I'm just blanking. Like, it's just like, like we talked about last time, I haven't seen, like, Hotel Transylvania. Um... I haven't seen, like, no, I have seen Coraline, but it's been a very long time. That's not really Halloween, that Halloween movie. It's just a scary kids movie. But I don't know. I just don't, I'm, like, blanking on every single Halloween movie I've ever seen in my life now. Um, So, like, what about you? I use you watch more of these types of movies than I do, I I would think. The Disney Channel ones, for sure. Like, I have seen. Let me look at my collection of movies over here while you think (laughs) about that. I have seen every single Halloween town. Yeah. That there is. Obviously, the first one is the best one, right? Yeah. Um, Calabar's Revenge was okay, which is the second one, but I um, I love the the first one. And then, uh, do you remember Under Wraps with the Mummy? Yes. Yep. So yep. the kids love that one. That's Noah's favorite. So we like to watch that one. Uh, of course, Nightmare Before Christmas. Noah is obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. Obsessed. Loves it. Has Jack Skellington everything. Um, I'm trying to think. What else do we watch? Um, oh, Hocus Pocus. Duh. Yeah, of Sanders course. Yeah, Hocus Pocus. Duh. Like, fucking mm-hmm. duh, right? Um, Hocus Pocus is watched every year, usually. So we'll watch that tomorrow. We'll watch at least the first Halloween Town oh, tomorrow. Oh, uh, Casper. Yeah, Casper. That's cute. That's the one with Christina Ricci, though. Like, the yeah, only one. the first one. The first yeah, the one. only one. Yes. That was, like, Casper, when that kid, like, when he turns into a kid, and it's like, I think yeah. that was, like, my, one of my first movie crushes when I was yeah. there. Yeah. As a kid, I'm like, oh, he's cute. Yeah. So, Ca- he Cas- cute. Human Casper is adorable. Can I keep you forever? Mm-hmm. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I wanted him to keep her forever. I really did. <laughs> but hers was a human, and his was a dead. Oh, and of course, Adam's family. Oh, f- yeah, for sure, Adam's family. Mm-hmm. Um. I have, uh, speaking of which, did you ever, did you finish Wednesday? Yes. Okay. I was real late to the game. I literally just watched it, like, not even a month ago. And I'm so ready for the second season. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm fucking obsessed. I'm one of those people that, like, can't watch a series until the entire thing is out. I think the entire thing was out. It was on Netflix. It had, well, it had been. And then, like... I knew that once I started the first episode, I was going to want to continue it and, like, finish it all in one go. So, in two days, I binged all of them. Like, within two days. So, Mm -hmm. 
but I was like, I had to get in the mood for it. Do you ever have to get so, in the mood to like watch something where you're like, yeah, now I'm ready to watch it. Now I'm ready to devote the brain calories to this. So the thing, so I guess like the, to, like that theme of instead of like a, t- or a movie, like a TV show, then Stranger Things for me, I really yeah. love. Stranger Things is one of those shows that I'm quite surprised I like. Because... I actually liked it too, and I don't really like, like, yeah, that's like... a little too scary for me. But I actually yeah, like it. The, like the first three were not the yeah. first season. Like the first season, like the very first episode. If anyone has seen Stranger Things, knows what I'm talking about. Like the first episode of season four, I'm like, man, they went extra hardcore on this one. I don't know if I can handle the rest of yeah, them. Yeah, I, I just, quit watching just halfway through the second up. season. I think we didn't finish it, so like I'm nowhere. The, near... I will say, the fourth season is probably as good maybe even better than the first like the okay. first like like all the seasons are pretty good to me like i know some yeah. people are like well the third season or the second season sucks blah, blah blah it's like to me they're all good it's like right there's not like a bad season in my opinion um fourth season is absolutely amazing and will make you cry so oh, sure. i just want to point that out there but it is it is very good so maybe if like you whenever you come down next maybe you can like watch some like catch up on some of them but yeah. The fourth season, fourth season is really amazing, and I can't wait to the, for the fifth season. Okay. So, uh, so, I just had a thought while you were talking. I don't know why, but candy okay. came to mind. Yeah. Favorite Halloween candy to get as a kid. What was what was the thing? When it hit your bucket, you were like, fucking right. Anything, anything chocolate. Anything chocolate. Like Kit Kat, Milky Way, like the little fun size ones. Anything like that. Like, I don't mind, like, gummy. I don't like hard candy. Yeah, like, me either. Like, like Jolly Ranchers, suckers, eh, yeah, they're fine. But like, if if it's gonna be like fruit flavored candy, I want it to be gummies. Yeah. So anything, but anything chocolate, except for like Snickers. I just I don't like Snickers, but um, anything chocolate, I'm just I'm here for. Okay. Okay. And then, and like, and then if you can answer that, but like also, like, what your favorite um Halloween costumes ever been? Either a child as an adult. So I don't know about my favorite Halloween costume, but I think the most memorable Halloween costume was the year that I was a skunk as a kid. <laughs> uh, my dad actually just posted this picture and tagged me in it on Facebook. So I'll steal it and I'll put it in the discord. Uh, so if you want to see it, go to discord and you can see me as a skunk as a little kid. But I think that was probably my favorite. Uh, and then uh, let's see. Candy for me. Uh, god damn it why must I be geriatric this is fucking ridiculous okay candy for me was Reese's like fucking all day every day because I didn't get to eat it very often so when that hit the bucket I was like there is a god <laughs> and his name is Reese's and it's and it comes in the form of orange and black oh my god it was so great it was so great <laughs> the pumpkins though the Reese's mm-hmm. pumpkins was just different. They just, just hit, hit different. Like Reese's pumpkins or Reese's Christmas yeah, trees. They just for yeah. some reason they hit different, and and they taste better. So if there was a Reese's pumpkin in my bucket, my night was fucking made. Okay, like mm-hmm. my night was made. I was so happy about it. Fuck two in a row. <gasps> Get it together. See, like I, that's like. See for me, like favorite costume as a kid. Like the only one I can say is the only time I dressed up as a kid was the I literally went as a pumpkin it was like my friends it was like my neighbor at the time like my neighbor and friend and then her sister we went trick-or-treating like we were the obviously like the oldest kids because at the time it wasn't like as socially acceptable for like teenagers to right. do it so we were like usually they're like back then it's like the cutoff age was like 12 13 and right, then after right. that you were like looked down upon nowadays it's like eh who fuck cares yeah now it's like but, i don't care if you're 40 and you come to my door yeah, it's and like you, candy, know, you can whatever, have it but yeah but so i i literally my friend just had like a pop like my mom didn't like get me the costume it's like my mm-hmm. friend had this costume of like i was just a giant pumpkin and of course i was an <laughs> overweight kid so it looked even worse Aww. and so that was like the only costume i'd say for like an as an adult like Probably my Miss Frizzle dress. Yeah, girl, um, you rocked Miss Frizzle. And then, so my Miss Frizzle, and then I, 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 I've done, like, Kiki from Kiki's Livery Service mm-hmm. as well. So I like to do, not cosplay ones, but, like, what I would probably wear as, like, a cosplay. Like, my dream yeah. one day would to be, like, my absolute, like, cosplay, and this is not, like, Halloween related, but, like, absolute, like, cosplay costume would yeah. be, like, Storm. If, but I would have to lose, like, 40 pounds for me to oh, dress stop. as Storm. So, stop um, it. 
but I would love to be like be strong. She's my favorite. Pounds X-Men. You think you need to lose, actually, ma'am? While we're talking about that, you turn sideways, you're gonna disappear <laughs> real soon. So. Uh, no, ma'am. I am still overweight. Uh, I would still like to be at least lose 15, 20 pounds. But okay, says the stupid ass BMI cup. We're not talking about this tonight. <laughs> Stop it. You is <laughs> not Halloween. Shut up. Anyway. But, um, but yeah, so I guess my favorite, like, I'm going to be Daria tomorrow, uh, yes. for work. Are you dressing up for work? Uh, actually, yes, but not what I thought I was going to be. Oh, fucking, oh, hang on. How did I miss when I, it wasn't Halloween, but it was during glam camp. We got to do like a dress is your favorite, mm-hmm. uh, like character. That's, I was thinking about that too. Maleficent yeah. bitch. I did. Mm-hmm. I had the horns. I had the, the whole makeup. thing. The makeup, the fucking chiseled ass cheekbones. Like, I had it all in there. I'll put that in the Discord, too. And then for Halloween last year at work, we did Sanderson Sisters. Like, it just worked out. Like, Amy was uh, Winifred. I was Mary because I had purple hair, like a dark purple hair. And uh, Maddie was Sarah because she was a blonde with super long blonde hair. So it all it worked out perfectly that we all were like who we were. And I still have the Mary costume, but I'll put a picture of me in the Discord with that too. But I did like they made me do the face where she's like <laughs> like they made me do the face and they have a picture of me doing the face with my hair all stuck up on top of my head, holding the vacuum. We have one of those like industrial vacuums. Remember how in the mu- in the movie she got stuck on the vacuum? Mm-hmm. And then Sarah got the the mop and Winifred had the broom, right? Because she's like the fucking leader. She's the bad bitch. So it was my manager was Winifred, I was Mary, and then my coworker was Sarah, and I had the fucking vac. I'm I'm riding the vacuum with my face going like this, mm-hmm. so it was perfect. It was perfect. But anyway, I'm gonna so send you. I'm I'll gonna send you the Discord picture too. of me as uh, Miss Frizzle. Yeah, so we can put that in the Discord as well. Um, anyway, that came up my memories. That came up my memories today. There yeah, we go. so we'll put all that shit in the Discord. If you want to see us uh, in our Halloween costumes over the years, go to Discord. Join up over there. You can see those pictures. Uh, when and if we ever get a Patreon launched, we have to get this other shit working first. But when and if we ever get a Patreon launched, we will... Uh, ex- yeah, we, need have we'll one, release... we need to have one thing work first. Yeah, before we need we to have other... fucking YouTube work first. Uh, but we'll get we'll start doing some like better content like that over there um, when we can get that launched. But anyway... So, uh, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, Maleficent and all that good jazz. And then, uh, tomorrow we're doing, uh, cause I work at a beauty supply place. We're dressing up as beauty school dropouts from Greece. So mm-hmm. we all have pink wigs and my boss made us a sweatshirt, like a light pink sweatshirt that says beauty school dropout on it, which is funny. Cause I actually am a beauty school dropout. So there's that. Um. Uh, Technically, I'm a beauty school, didn't ever get to start, but I was enrolled and uh, was supposed to go on orientation day. I had to call and drop out because Jordan got orders and I wouldn't be able to have anyone to keep the kids to be able to do it. So, um, right. so I'm technically a beauty school dropout and so is my coworker. Uh, my boss is the only one who will be wearing that outfit tomorrow that is actually a beauty school graduate. So it's going to be funny. Uh, so we'll be the beauty school dropouts tomorrow from Greece but mm-hmm. the pink uh, ladies pink ladies well yes but well, not pink ladies but like just, just having like that dream sequence yeah, where yes. like everyone's wearing like the outfit with the hair yes. yep mm-hmm. yep 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 so we're gonna i used to watch grease like like when i was 10 i watched grease every single night like every single day after school for like a, a whole year i was yeah. obsessed with that movie so yep that's what we're gonna do tomorrow and then i'll probably put one of my witchy outfits on like i have this really cool like peasant style dress um to take kids trick-or-treating but i don't well but again i don't know because it's gonna be cold as balls tomorrow yeah so. i'm annoyed because it's like i bought this outfit or from goodwill and ross it didn't cost me that much and i like but ha- have the boots that she wears and so then it's i don't know where else obviously where other people live but here up until like saturday it was 80 degrees yeah and, and then, then of course all of a sudden... and then all of a sudden i'm supposed to be wearing a skirt and i'm like my mom and my mom i told my mom who was going to be in like showed her i was like i don't want to wear leggings she's like well you're only going to be in you're going to be inside most of the day i'm like i know when we freezing when i go outside yeah and then so it's like i could wear leggings but i'm like but she doesn't wear leggings on the outfit i'm like right oh, I, might as well, I might have to wear leggings otherwise i'll freeze to death and so yeah. I'm like, of course it's gonna be like 45 degrees that day on the day i'm supposed to be wearing a fucking skirt so right 
Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's going to be colder than fuck tomorrow. Uh, mm-hmm. And windy on top of that. So it's not just cold, but also windy. So there's really kind of no point in me dressing up because I'm going to need to wear a coat. So um, that's what we're doing. So, and of course, my kids are things. Only one child is something someone will recognize. He's that huggy wuggy character from those jump scare games on YouTube. And then um, Nick is from this game called Undertales or this YouTube thing. Oh, I thing love Undertale. Undertales. I love, so I love Undertale. So he's Sans. He wants to yes, be Sans I, from Undertale. Yeah, the, the, yeah Sans the Papyrus. Yes. Yeah, Sans the Papyrus. So he wants to be Sans. I got him. He's got like the black pants which sans i guess has shorts but they're pants because he's gonna fucking freeze i got him pink fuzzy like slippers. A blue jacket yep mm-hmm. i got him a blue puffer coat he's already got a sweatshirt like a gray sweatshirt underneath him and a paint his face like a skull so um that's what nick's gonna be and noah's gonna be huggy wuggy so mark mark and i played that game together which it's a one-player game so basically what it boiled down to is mark played it and i just made the decisions he's like hey <laughs> you want to play this game i said sure and so I don't know why this cracks me up, but you get to name your character, and every time I, I just randomly, he's like, "Okay, what do you want to name the character?" And I usually agonize over character names. I named the character Donut, and so every time, like, we'd have to read out loud or like read like like Donut did this or whatever, blah blah. Like it's, it's a I don't like, think Donut says anything in the game, but yeah, um, there's no dialogue; there's just reading. Yeah, but it just I just cracked me up. I don't know why Donut was the thing that got me <laughs> so yeah so so stupid that's what my kids are gonna be and uh i i don't know i wish i was able to do something more fun but it's just too fucking cold and i just don't care i know that's terrible but like i want to care i want if only I you had care, but... if only you had like one of those like shawls like cape i do things. i do have a cape you do? but it's just still not gonna be warm enough it's thin as fuck like yeah because i i bought um I bought this when it was still 80 degrees outside, so I'm actually kind of excited to get to wear it, is I bought this skirt that's plaid, and it looks like when I wear it, especially with the, um, with the sweater I bought at the same time, I didn't buy it to go as an outfit together, I just bought mm-hmm. it at the same time from Amazon, but when I put them together, I look like a Scottish school teacher, like <laughs> a school teacher in the Highlands, because it's like a, a long plaid skirt, which is, and it's wool, so yeah. it's warm. It's super warm, and I'm, like, so excited to finally get to wear it. When it's, like, that's the only thing I got excited for was, like, okay, it's not 80 degrees anymore. I can wear this wool skirt that makes me look like a Scottish a Scottish teacher. So, that's hilarious. I love yes. that. hmm Okay, so let's, uh, let's transition a little bit. Yes. I want to get spooky. Do you want to get spooky? Let's get spooky. Let's get spoopy. <laughs> spoopy. Spoopy. So, uh, I want to know, what's the scariest shit that's ever happened to you that has made you think, I don't know if this reality is all there is? Um, I have a couple. Okay. And I might have told a story before, because I don't remember anything I tell anybody. Um, so... When I was a kid, my mom had, and she still has a couple of them, she liked Victorian dolls, like the porcelain ones, Mm -hmm. and I am terrified of dolls. It's mainly from, it's mainly, not necessarily Chucky, because I didn't see Chucky, well, I was about 10, like 11, 12 when I saw Chucky, but from before that, it's from Goosebumps. Slappy the dummy on Goosebumps scared the absolute shit out of me. Fuck that shit. Um, So, the, my, like, I was in third grade, and... Um, my mom had like our house had a guest room, mm-hmm. and there was a doll that was a, like a porcelain, look, you know, kind of realistic, had Victorian style clothing. Well, she had a parasol. Um, sometimes we would go in there, and me and my cousins, like during the summer, we would go in there, and she held the the uh, parasol where it was closed, and she was holding it like with her hands. Um, trying to like see. Hold it like like this, like you know, propped up on the ground and yeah. be closed. Next time we go in there, she'd hold it, have it over her shoulder, and the parasol would be open. Oh fuck that! And mind you, this thing is not easy to move. It's not like a doll that you can move its arms. Oh fuck that! So and so, I remember we had a babysitter that would force us to take naps in the guest room, and we were like, cr- we'd cry, be like, no, we don't want to take a nap. We don't want to be sleeping in the creepy doll room. And she would not listen. We're like, no, this doll fucking moves. And then that was the same house. I swear that house was haunted because that was the same house, like, we had an upstairs and, like, what we used as, like, a playroom 
there was a um uh like one of those doors that led into an attic space, like a small yeah. door. Yeah. And then um no this wasn't the this wasn't the house. Or yeah, it was the house cuz like the like the house in my mom's office building had both sorry my he just came out scared the shit out of me. Woo, scared um, shit out of me. <laughs> and uh so I'm sorry if you can hear my heat. Yeah. But it's, the, the background uh, noise will probably kill it, so it's fine. So both my that house and it was on the same street. So I, I swear that whole area was haunted. So both the that house and my mom's office had an upstairs room that had like a small of small doorways that led into like another like attic space that was, you know, just all wooden and everything. Yeah. And we swear we heard like noises coming from there. Think like the dumb waiter scene in Sixth Sense, that sort of thing. Like I'm not sure if you've ever seen that movie, but there's a scene where he Haley No, Jones but I know what a dumb, a dumb waiter is. Yeah, there's like a scene where these mean kids lock Haley Jawsman's character in a dumb waiter. Oh. Um, and like you hear him like a creepy care like guy. Uh, in the background. Oh hell no! So basically, that was it. So like, we refused to go in there. So that's so. I, like I said, I saw that. I saw that building, and like the whole street was haunted from just from those two, those two incidences. Yeah. So what about you? Fuck. Why you gonna make me yawn? <laughs> Scary yawns. Okay. Well. Oh, plus my paralysis demons, but I've talked uh, about those before. Yeah. My paralysis demons, like my almost nightly pro well, not almost nightly, but that's an exaggeration, but my monthly paralysis demons. No, tell it. Yeah. Tell it. Well, like how I will wake up and I have I have my curtains, like they're not, they're they're just like um panels. They don't close. Like mm -hmm. there's um a valance and then the panels on the side. So I basically just clip them closed with like chip clips. Yeah. To just to black it out um and then but i woke up one time and i swear that like there was like a light on the other side of the window like illumination i could see a silhouette which i wouldn't be able to see because it's a curtain that's closed and i wouldn't be able to see it through, like a light through there um on purpose and then just sometimes i would wake up my like it's not like my room's haunted it's just my brain hates me um and so like i wake up and i'll see uh like spiders all over the wall and i'll or i'll pull my um, my my blanket up in my dream, pull my blanket up. There's spiders all over me, and I'll jump on the bed screaming to because I'm terrified of spiders. Or I'll just wake up and there'll be like a ghost or like a shadow figure at the end of the bed, and I'll throw my pillow at them, and I'll think it's in my dream, but then I wake up and my pillow is actually on the floor. And I've gotten so annoyed with them that I will literally just say, can, "I was like, can you please not?" I've literally told them before. I'm like, "Can you not right now?" And I'll just roll over and go back to sleep, or like they'll. <laughs> It's when they start reaching for me. Like, they'll start, like, getting onto the bed or, like, reach for me. Like, they'll be on the side of me. Oh, fuck And, like, that. reach for me with, like, a hand. And that's when I... And I even had one when I was... And see, this is why it's like, okay, it can't be my room. It has to be my stupid brain. Because I was in my hotel room for the conference. And this is so stupid. So I'm looking at the wall. And there's, like, an old style... Um, not old style, but like a typical like security camera looking yeah. thing in my dream. And so obviously not in the room, but it's like where it's like a long, like white tube, like style. Yeah. And like the one that kind of rotate, like yes. when they're. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so in my dream, that is like that thing is looking at me like and then it's like zooming in, like getting closer. And all of a sudden turns into a gun, turns into a turret and starts oh, to no. shoot at me. I remember I, I screamed and I remember thinking, "Oh god, I hope no one else in the rooms around me because I'm on the third floor out of four. Like hope no one else in the room around me heard me screaming. And if they did, they're probably like, "Eh, whatever." And so I just remember and jumping up, turning on the light. Nope, there's no security camera or gun or turret oh, in my room. Oh no. So, it's just my stupid brain being stupid. Yeah. So, the end. So, for me, I, there's so many things. As a kid, I would see things a lot that scared the shit out of me. Kind of like you and your cousins where you'd go in that room and you'd see the doll's hand and shit. I would sense things and see things. And from a very young age, our house in Rockdale it was fucking haunted as hell. That basement was fucking haunted as fuck. I never wanted to go down there. But that's where our playroom was, was in the basement. Okay. And my bedroom was directly above, like... 
the creepiest part of the basement in that house. And I remember one night laying in bed, my mom would only let me watch TV for like an hour after I laid down. And then, so I got to put a VHS in and when the VHS was over, she'd come in and turn my TV off. Are you good? Yeah. I think my neighbor like was slammed her car door. So I just heard this thud on the <laughs> side. Yeah. Of course we're going to start hearing shit while we're telling spooky mm-hmm. stories. Yep. So, uh, um, I remember one night and I had this law, lo- I had a loft bed. So, I'm laying in my loft bed, and it got really creepy feeling in my room. It was dark as fuck. She never let us wear it, use a fucking nightlight either. And I looked up, and my ceiling fan, which was off, okay, off, was spinning in the opposite direction as it would have been had it been turned on. Mm-hmm. And then it stopped, and then it went the fucking other way. Okay. And then the fucking dangly things would dangle in there all the time when there's nothing touching it. Okay. The closet in that room had like a little trap door thing in it too. Don't know where it went because there's nowhere for it to go. I think what it must have been was like an old my maybe cousin, old laundry chute or something. My cousins had this, I like guess, a, a trap door. It didn't go, like basically just went from one closet to the other, like to the other room's closet. It was just yeah. a trap door between the two closets. It was really weird. But like this, there was nowhere for this to go. It didn't make any sense. The trap, where the trap door was, like there was nothing on the other side of it. On It just doesn't make any sense for it to be there. So my only thought was because the trap door was like above the stairs to the, like would have gone, if you would have like opened that door and looked down, you'd have been like above the very last few steps of the basement like coming into the basement so my thought was maybe it was a laundry chute at one point maybe um where you could like open the little door and throw it down you know that was my thought um but i never wanted to go in that closet like i hated that fucking closet as a kid i hated it i would do anything to not have to get shit out of that closet it was just creepy uh but um I don't know. I asked at a very young age because I could always feel things to not see them. And I don't remember seeing many things as a kid, but I always remember, like, I know I did or I wouldn't have asked to not see things, right? Like, I know something I saw as a kid scared the shit out of me so bad that I, like, asked. The only thing I knew at the time was, like, I was raised Catholic, so I asked God, right? What I knew to be God at the time. Please don't let me see things. I'll feel whatever you want me to feel, but please don't let me see things. It's too scary. So I've kind of gone my whole life like feeling different energies. Well, there was this. You good? <laughs> yeah, just don't die. Don't die. <laughs> um. So after I met Jordan, the property that he was staying on that his parents owned for years, something's wrong with that land. I can't place it, but something's wrong with that fucking land. Okay. And I remember I was there one one night, and I just happened to like glance down the hallway and there was a fucking mass that was blacker than the darkness in the hallway like it was darker than the darkness and i just looked at him and i was like he happened to have a bible for some whatever reason on the coffee table i don't know why it was there he's not particularly religious but it was just there on the coffee table and i was like get it get the bible and he was like what the what the fuck like we were newly dating okay let's look newly dating this should have scared so you. You look, you look, you look like, like, like the crazy like girlfriend. Like a crazy person. I was like, get the Bible. And he was like, what's the matter? Like, he believes in this shit. So, like, it didn't freak him out too bad, thank God. But, like, I didn't really know that at the time. I was like, pick up the Bible. He was like, why? I was like, just fucking pick up the Bible. I was like, open it up. Start reading. I don't care what page you're laying on. Just fucking start reading something. And I, like, in my mind was like, I pulled a Jeremy. Opened a fucking portal. And I was like, I don't know what you fucking are, but you don't fucking belong here. Get out. Like, I'm giving you an out. Get out. And he started reading. And I am, like, envisioning a hole for this thing to crawl through to get the fuck out of this house. Right? Go back to the upside down. Go back back to to the the upside down. Get the fuck out. Right? (laughs) And so, as he's reading... And I'm trying to, like, visualize and, like, tell this thing to get the fuck out. I just felt, like, this fucking massive shift in energy and, like, it went away. And it, like, disappeared. And I feel like that was the first time that I kind of knew, okay, there's something a little bit different about me. 
like something's different about me. Like I always knew as a kid, like I could feel things, but when you're a kid, everyone tells you that you're just, it's like your imaginary it. friend. It's like, right. Your imaginary, like, right. Like anytime you're like talking to something that's not there, it's like, Oh, they're talking to an imaginary friend or are they talking right. to ghosts? It's right. like, um, so I, I was sort of written off a lot as a child. So there was, I don't know. That was, that was very profound thing, but I always, I never felt right on that land. Something's wrong with it. I don't know if it's, it wasn't the house. It was the land, but I don't know. I guess that just sort of, and then it just sort of kind of spiraled into where I am now. So I, now I, I make it a very strong point to make sure that I don't ever have to see shit like that in my own house. We'll just put it that way. Um, I don't want to get into too much of my witchy shit on here because it's not really relevant to neurodivergent shit. Although, uh, in my witchy groups that I am in, there are quite a few neurodivergent people. Like, a lot of people, mm -hmm. a few people like, yeah, I have ADHD or yeah, I'm autistic or whatever. You good? Yeah, that was just the screech to my ear when you did that. It scared the shit out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what screeched? I don't know, it just, it just screeched like someone went like this on nails on a chalkboard, like very, in like half a second. In my ear. Weird. That was rude. It's haunted. The show is haunted. This episode's yeah. haunted. This episode's haunted. Uh, no. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's, I don't want to get too far into it, but I have found there's quite a few, like, neurodivergent people in my witchy groups. Which, which makes sense, right? Because it's like, it's not typical, it's not the norm. Yeah. So it's kind of the whole, like, drawing... Like, did ever like neurodivergent people being drawn towards that sort of thing? Yeah. So I mean, it's pretty clear that I believe in like paranormal shit, and um, I'm into. I don't really want to call it the occult because I feel like that's like a really like that's like more dark common me. misconception. That's like because I say I'm a witch, then I must be into like the dark shit, and really, it's like the contrary. Like, I don't fuck with that. I don't fucks with that at all. Like at all uh, to the contrary i don't fuck with spirit boards i don't fuck with none of that i'm like if anything yeah, I'm like, i did i don't want to talk to you i did one ouija up. board and never again i did one ouija board and that's it's like that was that's... alice's demons ma'am <laughs> that's why you got them well it's kind of like the whole like i play D D, but i don't do like demonic things that right. sort of thing like i like D D stuff but i don't like, the whole, I remember, like, granted, it's not the 80s anymore, but the 80s with the whole satanic panic type of thing. Yes. So, like, especially, like, D&D. &D, that, like, I mean, they, even, like, if you watch, like, season four, do you hear noises now? No, I don't, I don't okay. understand the correlation between Dungeons and Dragons and demons. Oh, because, like, a lot of demon D&D &D has, like, um, demons in it, stuff like that. So, oh. in the 80s, is was really big. And it's in, like, season four of Stranger Things 2, the whole, like, satanic panic where basically if you played D&D &D, you, you were seen as being part of like a cult you were doing rituals that sort what? of thing so I've never heard they that. made there's even there was you know I um I think it was called Mazes and Monsters which is just you know Dungeons and Dragons but there was a, a TV movie called Mazes and Monsters and it starred Tom Hanks I think oh. it was one of Tom Hanks's first movies in the 80s and it's basically I don't know if it was based on a true story but basically a lot of stuff that happened in the 80s like a lot of disappearances or just crimes were based on kids playing D and D. Like oh, they just wow. so even like um, it's just a thing. Like if you just if you just look up like I I remember there was even a documentary on Netflix that I watched that I don't know if it was a documentary or it was like an episode of part of like a documentary series. But how like in the eighties, especially like the whole satanic panic thing. How basically D and D role playing games that sort of thing led to people parents like you know correlating those two things like oh huh. you don't hang out with the weird kids playing D, D. they're doing satanic rituals that sort hmm. of thing so a lot of like say like a lot of things that happened in the 80s were um blamed on that sort of thing like satanic cults stuff like that and it's like oh but it's, it's because these kids are playing D. &D. Oh. so so it, it's actually it actually was like a phenomenon that happened mainly mainly in the 80s but Okay, so that's that. That was my that was my point. It's like I play D and D, but I'm not like a devil worshiper. You know, I just wow, <laughs> wow, wow. Sorry, wow. I had to get one in there. Um, no problem. Yeah, that's just very strange. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. I I didn't know that that was a thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I'm obviously quite 
open with the fact that I believe in all that shit and that I am like I like to to deal with energy and I feel like like I follow the I try to follow the wheel of the year a little bit and I like astrology and all that good shit. So like where are you on the woo woo scale? Like where where we don't really talk about it. I mean we do talk about it some, but we don't really talk about it much. Like how where are you at? Like do you believe this shit's real? Do you are you curious but don't know? Like where where are you at? <clears throat> on a scale I think of one it's to woo, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I would say like a three because it's like I find it interesting and everything. I I'm very like agnostic in just general of like anything. Like yeah, there could be a higher power. I don't know what that higher power is. I don't right. know what works, what doesn't. So the whole like astrology thing, I don't know if it's because like for me, astrology like my sign doesn't really say anything about me. Um, like I'm a Leo, so I just don't think I am like the least Leo thing to ever Leo. So I'm like, well, astrology is stupid because I don't, my sun sign yeah. doesn't apply Now that to I know so more, I, always... I actually want to dig through your chart. Like I actually want to dig through it because there's probably a really good reason why you don't identify as a Leo. But I, at the time when we did your chart, I did not like really know enough I, to know why that is, I, but I do now. I, I joke that because I was born five, six weeks early, I should have been a Virgo. So I feel yeah. like I'm far more a Virgo than I am a Leo. So I always joke. Yeah. It's like, well, I was a, I was supposed to be a Virgo, but I got stuck with being a Leo. Yeah. So that's because I like I'm a lot like Scott. Very so it's like, and yeah. Scott's a Virgo. Yes. So I so I joke that it's like, well, I'm supposed to be a Virgo, but I was, you know, I was I was made to be a Leo. Um. So the whole like astrology thing, the only thing I really ascribe like the whole like like I joke about Mercury being in Gatorade. Yeah. Like, to me it's like, do the planets really affect us? I don't know. The other thing that I I believe is uh the moon, because it's like it's called lunacy for a reason. Yeah. So the whole like moon affecting people, because my thought process is like trying not that I'm like overly scientific, it's like, well, there's always a science behind it. My thought process is well, the moon affects the tides, the moon affects water. Humans are like 70% water. So right. why wouldn't the moon affect us? Right. So, and like every, and even like every time there's like a full moon, I, I message you, I'm like, or not every time, but like every time, like the last few times, I'm like, is it near or like, is it a full moon or near a full moon? Because people are fucking insane right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, they are. I'm like, okay, see, valid. And so even like I was driving the other day, like, two days ago whenever that last full moon was and i was driving and every single person i was driving around was acting like an absolute batshit insane yeah and so and i look up later i'm like oh it was a full moon well that explains it well that explains and it. like right. ask ask any nurse any customer service person they'll they'll tell you that full moons are yeah. when people act absolutely insane or if so, every piece of technology in the world is melting down all at once mercury is probably in the microwave yeah so and then or like to me that's like well is it is there a sun flare that sort of thing yeah, so it's not like flare. i try to use science it's not like i try to use like science to like explain things away because it's like yeah. i don't but it's it, to me it's like it's cool to think about like yeah. i I'm, we like i said we looked at my birth chart i'm like oh okay that's interesting but yeah otherwise like to me horoscopes are kind of dumb because it's like that can apply to anybody you make it right. vague enough you can because yeah. they make them so vague you can for apply sure. to anybody for sure and it's like oh so you're talking about i have one of 12 personalities because of the planets aligning right okay but okay um, sure <laughs> well sure. it's kind of like when people i think it's also like the whole people blaming their mistakes or blaming their flaws or like well that's that's just the tauros in me or that's just me being a sagittarius like or it could be that you're a shitty person yeah <laughs> it's like it, it could be that too like, you could be a, a taurus but you also could be an asshole maybe you're yeah. born with it or maybe you're just maybe. an asshole yeah yeah um so and in terms of like witchy things it's like i don't fuck with it because it's like i don't not like fuck with it like i don't like what you do that doesn't bother me that sort of yeah. stuff but it's like if it comes to like witch rules stuff like that like the occult like i'm not yeah. gonna fuck with it like like no. i said i don't watch supernatural stuff like i would rather watch a serial killer horror movie than a supernatural one because i don't yeah. i don't fuck with demons i don't fuck with all that yeah. stuff like that Same. stuff scares the shit out of me yeah. so i have to at least at some point believe that it's real because yeah. it's like like i i'm not gonna go walking in the woods at night not because i think there's a serial killer out there but it's because, like there's <laughs> because you're ghosty goose. A forest demon yes yeah because yeah. i'm worried about ghosty goose okay yeah. so i don't want to i don't i don't fuck with it i don't just, so you believe you in know. spirits you believe in ghosts yeah 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 
I believe in ghosts. I believe in aliens. Stuff like that. Yeah. So that was, was going to be my next question. Where are you on aliens? Oh, for sure. We cannot be the only people in this whole no. whole universe. Like, you, are you talking about, like, out of this whole universe that's ever expanding, that's ever getting grow? like, we're the only people? Like, how narcissistic do we have to think we are? Like, how narcissistic do we have to be to think that we're the only people yeah, in or the, the only universe? beings, period, in the entirety of the fucking universe. When we like, have found, even, like, in our vicinity that we can see, or, like, scientists like NASA that they, that the they web, know of. Yeah, the like, web the, they'll know. Or they'll they'll be like, okay, well, this is actually this has like an Earth like this planet in this solar system mm-hmm. or this this galaxy has the conditions that it could be like Earth, yep, or whatever. And it's so like alien movies don't scare me, but it's like the fact that it's like okay, there could be people like aliens around. It's like ugh, I don't know. I basically I'd be one of the first people to go when it comes to like aliens. I'd be one of the first people to go like just I don't care. I don't care. Just just take just me. Take just, me just, out of here. Just yeah. just blast me. Okay. Just Independence Day me. I don't oh care. My god. <laughs> like Oh my god, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean God damn it, here comes the odds again. Well it's it's after nine thirty, so we're I know. past your bedtime. I know. When it comes to alien stuff, I feel like I feel like that wigs me out sometimes more than spirit stuff because of the the stories that you hear, which, you know, I'm, I will say I'm healthily skeptical. Like, I don't hear these things and immediately believe that they're true. Like the whole, like, adrenochrome reptilian. Oh, yeah, no. Shit. I don't fucking believe that. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm not QAnoning my way through life. Okay. But I saw Sound of Freedom. I know I, I, I'm <laughs> picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not, I don't believe that there's underground, you know, child pizza parlor pizza parlor shit happening so like i i get it okay i i get there is a healthy level of skepticism that needs to be at place right in place however i think it's highly arrogant like you said to believe that there is nothing else out there like nothing else out there and that, Especially, like, the government literally admitted that there are. And, like, yeah. we were just like, oh, okay, we know yeah, that. Sure, whatever. You know, yeah, like, Sure. Okay, what are you guys hiding now? You guys right. you guys freely gave us this information about aliens, so what the fuck? Right, exactly. Like, what are you guys trying to hide now? Yeah, well, I mean, lots of things, I'm sure. But, yes. like, also, I don't know. It's just... There's just shit that happens that you just can't fucking explain. Like, UFOs. Like, you eat people, like, granted, like, to me that blows my mind. It's like, we've yet to get, like, a very clear image. The fact that, like, the whole world is covered in cameras, like, everyone has a smartphone, but yet we have yet to get a clear image of, like, a UFO. And, right. like, and so I understand most of it's because it's, like, at night or whatever, but it's also like, are you guys just fucking with us? Are you guys just watching us just to, to see what we're like, what we do? Because... Well, and I mean, then the there whole... is a theory that this is some weird experiment for them and that we are all just little, like, ants in a little case. And they're mm-hmm. watching they're us like, do whatever they're watching we do. Us. Yeah. Um, well, it's kind of like the whole... Well, I like the, the idea that... Okay, so, like, all these alien movies, we always, we always make it to where the aliens are the more, more technologically advanced. But what if, like, what if we were the ones? What if, like, other planet, like, there's other peoples that are still, like, in the Stone Age? And we're all different, like, different, um, on different like, points of our evolution. Yeah, levels So of there's evolution. gonna be some, there's gonna be, like, some places that are, like, more in cavemen. There's gonna be some places that are still just amoebas or right. whatever. And there's gonna be some people that are in, living in the year 5000, like, mm-hmm. for us in terms of that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's like, but what if, like, we're gonna be the people that are, well, like, and we, then we've sent the... stuff through space that has reached past Pluto at this point. So, right. like, some, like, what if that, that lands on some planet that are, like, a caveman and we help them evolve past a certain point because they discovered this thing that we sent you know hundreds of years ago for them and then there's the theory that the whole i know that the show ancient aliens has like gone past a fucking it's gone past aliens yeah aliens (laughs) ancient ancient astronaut theorists say yes yeah that guy, that everyone, that George guy with the fucking crazy hair. He was yeah. even on. A, he was even on a show my mom and I watched called yeah. Resident Alien with Alan Tudyk. He was yes. on that show. Yes, guy's insane. I get it. 
that the show has gone off its rocker. It did start as something that was like trying to be informative and then it just fucking went off the deep end into all the fucking crazy ass conspiracy theory rabbit holes so you could possibly go down. But like there are some things that were presented in TV shows like that that are really fucking hard for me to like look away from and pretend I didn't see. Like some of the sculptures and like the ancient like the Aztec culture and like when they find some of these these things and like this there's this civilization I forget where it is now because of course because I want to try to give actual facts for this shit but like they found like in an area where there was no previously known civilization that could have possibly made these big huge structures like this in the time period in which these like the where these were found in the ground suggested the time that they were built right like You're talking about no easter way. island no not easter island this is a completely Olmex. different thing no it's a completely different thing i can't remember it's on a netflix thing i just watched and i can't remember what it is now but like this one particular area there should have been no one there that would have been able to build something like this in the time period in which there were humans in that area okay like the the time period in which humans were existing the kind of technology that was available when this place was built wasn't existing like it wasn't it wasn't available to have built what they built okay and it wasn't just one little thing like there were several of these things okay and it should not have been able to be done and there's evidence of this everywhere like all over the fucking world there are structures that were built seemingly with technology that should not have existed right and i know that i look like that guy right now with the fucking hair you just so superimposed his face on mine the technology wasn't there <laughs> right the tick te te no, how does it technology not technology it's technology is what he says mm -hmm. the technology wasn't available i get it just call me george it's fine i but it's difficult to fucking I'm, i sound like a quack because i can't be like look i have hard evidence but when I watch it, it's difficult to fucking be like, ah, it's bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, it's difficult to be, like, completely write it off. Some of it is very well, fucking intriguing to me. Like, fucking maybe. Fucking maybe. Like, the maybe whole concept aliens. of, the whole concept of Atlantis, Atlantis yes. to me is fascinating. Fascinating. Like, like I, I, anything, fascinating. anything about Atlantis, I will watch. Same. Like, like even the Disney movie Atlantis was like, yes. uh, was one of my favorites. Well, because um, the theory, right? The theory. Mm -hmm that everyone has from what i understand about the whole atlantis thing the theory is that this was the most technologically advanced civilization of that and it, time and it okay? fell into the ocean and it fell from like from all the bits and pieces that i have heard about the story this is my best recap from all the different sources i have heard stuff from was that this civilization was so fucking advanced that they had figured out telepathic communication they figured out how to use sound as not only for healing, but also for defense and for weaponry, okay? And this technology was, some people in this civilization wanted to use it to create weapons, right? Some of them didn't. This started some sort of civil war. And the whole reason why they didn't want this to be used to create technology was because they knew if something like this was created, like, was used to create a weapon, other civilizations would try to come for it, right? They'd try to come get it. Well, apparently, that's what happened, right? And the weaponry that was created ended up destroying their civilization which is what was predicted like basically the wise ones were like this is what's going to happen if you do basically this shit. to get nerdy prophecy. basically krypton basically yes. it's krypton from basically Superman. It's krypton. Like, they destroy yes. themselves yes exactly mm -hmm. they destroy themselves that's essentially what happened and they were warned by the their wise elders in that community like if you do this this is what's going to fucking happen like we're going to destroy ourselves right Kind of like our civil war going on in the fucking AI story with Jeremy. If you keep fighting about this shit, you're going to destroy yourselves. You're going to destroy the village. You're going to destroy your whatever, right? So that's the theory. 
that we get so and it's kind of like a really cool like archetypal story to think about whether it's fucking true or not like it's a really cool like story to think about it's like at what point are we so technologically advanced that we end up destroying our own way of life right kind of like wally -E, the movie wally -E, where like mm -hmm. everyone's huge and riding in hover cars and like there's no greenery anywhere anymore and we just fucking destroy the planet like there's been several alien things that it like the By and, Wally right right there. Wally right there. Like there's been there was this one thing, uh, I think it was called Encounters we're watching on Netflix right now or something like that. And there was a story of this this aliens that came to this school in um I believe it was somewhere in Africa. I can't remember exactly where, and I don't want to say the place and get it wrong. But the kids say that the the couple of the kids that they said the alien spoke to like not spoke to but like telepathically told them that that they're destroying the planet and that they're coming here to try to stop us from destroying the planet and they're trying to warn us not to get too technologically advanced because if we do we're going to destroy our planet and there's also this theory around that that like the aliens that we're seeing are us we figured out how to time travel and we destroyed our own planet, like Atlantis, right? Like, we destroyed our planet. It's like the movie Arrival. Right. And some of us Arrival. got away. Some of us found a way out, right? Like, we were going other places, and now we're traveling back in time. Oh, this actually, this reminds me of Interstellar. Sorry, yeah, go on. Tell, Interstellar. To try to warn us now to stop what we're doing before, like, to try to reverse what they did, right? Yeah. Just don't do what we did Stop! They're trying to stop nip, nip those it in the bud. happen it's before it happens for them, right? So, like, I don't know. It's just all very. Th it's interesting shit to think about. It's fun to contemplate things like this because it makes you feel like your <laughs> shit in your life isn't so fucking grandiose and important that it's only all about you, right? Like, it it gives you a broader fucking understanding of just. I don't know. Well, it's kind of like the world. It's, I saw this recently. I've seen this picture a million times, but I don't. I think it was Voyager. But anyway, is they launched Voyager? It was just the little space probe. I'm not sure. I think it's the one that has like a bunch of sayings that we have, but in like in sixty some languages, has random songs yeah. on it. Like it's like yeah. has gold on it, and mm -hmm. then but. I remember, I think Carl Sagan told him, okay, like, turn it around and just have him take a picture. And so, like, you see Earth, this little tiny dot, and they called it, like, a family photo. And so, like, a little tiny dot, and just, like, just how insignificant we are. The yeah. fact that we're just this little tiny dot in the void of space. Yeah. And so, to me, that's, like, in a way kind of scary, because it's, like, all, not to get, like, depressing, but it's, like, does anything we do matter? It's like in this whole yeah. grand scheme of things, it's like, yeah, we matter to the people around us and, you know, to our community, stuff like that. But it's like in the grand scheme of things, none of the seeds like this doesn't really matter because it's like we're just this little tiny pale blue dot in the whole uh, whole void of space. Right. And so well, that like, to me, it's just like it's scary. Yeah. And some of those pictures of the have you seen the pictures from the James Webb telescope? I watched the documentary on netflix of how this thing was like created and launched mm -hmm. and like everything that went into it and the billions and billions of dollars i think it took it like 10 years to get this thing out into space in some of the first photos that like the amount of things that had to happen to get this thing to function properly there was like 400 single point failures on this thing and if any one of those didn't happen the whole thing didn't work Right. It was, like, the most well, risky thing ever. But, like, the photos that are coming back from this. Like, the Pillars of Creation. Have you seen the picture of that? Yes. Yeah, I love, like, the nebula, like, the horse, like, oh, evil nebula, stuff like yes. that. All those, like, like, what they call the Eye of God. Yeah. So. Does that not, like, I don't know why, but I was looking at those and I started crying. Like, mm -hmm. it's... Space is awesome. Fucking beautiful. Like, it's gorgeous. And we it's like, live, like... In all of that, do you know what I mean? Like we are, mm -hmm. we came from that. Like, well, even when, even if like, like looking at the Milky Way, if like even a, if you live in a place that is absolute like darkness, like say you went out into the Rockies and like there's no light pollution, yeah. like just even be able to see, like when I went up to the Smokies, 
You yeah. just need to be able to see the band of the Milky Way, like that literally the Milky Way, like the spiral gorgeous. Milky Way. Yeah. And so it's just to me, it's like, and the fact that every one of those stars is like another sun. And like some of them, are like there's planets and like even like something that might look like just a star is a galaxy. Yeah. It's like just the fact that there's, we know of like billions of galaxies, like there's like a picture. I, I wasn't with the web one. It was with the Hubble. So it's like more grainy. But the fact that like they're like, oh, by the way, every single one of these dots in this picture, there's like thousands of them is a galaxy. Yeah. Like that's mind blowing. No, there was one from the James. Have you seen the one from the web? It was the first one, the first photo the web ever took. It's crazy. I have to pull, I have to pull this up now. Web telescope images. I have to pull it up now. I'm going to do a yeah. screen share. Okay. okay. Gallery. Because what I'm thinking of is, is I remember seeing it like in uh, books, deep like field. science books. Yeah. That Hang we on. have. Let me, let me share my screen because it's so, I, I get so fucking crazy about this shit. This screen. might be a two part episode. <laughs> eh, it'd be fine. We'll make this the uh, conspiracy theory episode, not conspiracy theory, but like out there episode. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, this yeah. photo is just. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the one like in the documentary they said every single one of those dots like you can see other spiral galaxies like the milky way like every single one of those out there is a fucking galaxy it's not just a star the fucking galaxies okay that's fucking bananas to me fucking bananas to me it's crazy and like there's so many fucking let me zoom this in there we go there's so many fucking images. Like, yeah, this is the one I'm thinking. At least I can share. With... No, I can't share. Like, my God, um, it's crazy. Like, I could just stare at these all day and just fucking cry because, like, this is just. Also, it's like, this I wish life. I was smart enough to work at NASA. Like, oh it'd be God, awesome same. to work at. Like, when I think of people that do, like, the physics or astronaut, like, you know, astronomy stuff, it's like, how are you so. How does your brain do that? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Like, then there's all these different things, like, oh my god, it's just so crazy. Like, I just, I don't know, I, I'm weak, this is kind of probably off topic, but, like, these are gorgeous. Like, you can go look at these. They're so fucking crazy looking, and just the fact that this is where we fucking... Or, like, remember when they did, from. when they were so excited, it was in the news for weeks, like, the first picture of a black hole, like... Yeah! And it, and it, basically, they said it was, like, terabytes absolutely terabytes of information just into that one picture and it took how long it took to get that picture yeah and it's like people were like and some people were like well that's not impressive like no it fucking is like I'm yeah sorry, it just looks what? like a greeny like a greeny picture of like an orange ring around a black hole but it yeah. no that's fucking impressive yeah the fact that we have visual fucking evidence of black holes which was, was like which maybe like 50 years ago was a theory it's a theory was, was exactly a theory. and just think like if that's where we're at now like we could at some point have evidence of wormholes. Mm -hmm. Like that's like a serious sign. Like that's, people are seriously seen... thinking about that now. Like they're seriously <laughs> thinking that these are possible and possible here on our planet. Like, have you seen interstellar? No, I haven't. If you want to break your brain, uh, watch interstellar. It's very good. It's, I will say it's a slow moving movie, Yeah, but it is very good. I liked it more the second time I watched it, I watched it in theaters the first time. And I'm one of those people that, like, if I'm with someone who I think is not liking the movie, I will not like the movie. Yeah. But then when, when I watched it by myself later, I loved it. Yeah. So that gets into the whole, um, that's the whole, like, future us trying to save past us from gotcha. fucking it up and, like, the whole wormhole thing. So it's very good. Well, and, like, okay, so we like watching The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. Um, have you ever seen that? It's actually no, that sounds gross. No, it's not gross. It's not gross. It's actually very scientific and it's very informative. It's an alien thing. It's like an alien documentary. You can look it up on um I think they have it on Netflix now. I think they finally put the the re the released ones on Netflix, but we have Sling and we watch it like as it comes out weekly on <sighs> Sling. They're getting ready to do another season soon. But this guy is an astrophysicist named Dr. Travis something I forget his last name, but he was, they just actually released it this last season. He was actually one of the lead scientists at the UAP task force the government had. And like that they just, you know, released, oh yeah, this was a thing. Like they finally said, yes, it was real. We were really doing it. But 
there's this place called Skinwalker Ranch. And at one point, um, Robert Bigelow owned it, which was um, a government contracted like aerospace program thing that they were like doing on this ranch. Well, basically, this very fucking skilled astrophysicist that not a woo-woo person whatsoever, like did not believe in this shit at all when he first was brought out to the ranch to like help them figure out what the fuck is going on on this ranch, right? Did not believe in this shit at all. Now is seriously, after all the evidence that has been found there, all the experiments that they have done, is seriously considering that there could possibly be a wormhole on the ranch that is allowing interdimensional travel. And that is why all of these UFOs are being sighted here. They have so much footage of UFOs. Like, legitimate, like, can see them with the naked eye footage and then caught on their surveillance camera footage, clear fucking pictures of these things that are coming from this ranch. And this guy did not believe in this shit prior to working here. And then when they saw what he was doing on Skinwalker, the government was like, we need that guy. And put him on the it, task force. It reminds me of the movie Contact with Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, That's no, a movie you should watch, too. You need to watch Skinwalker Ranch. It is an actual, like, documentary. It's not gross, I promise. There's no grossness. There's no, like, the Skinwalker Skinwalker stuff just is, reminds me of... <laughs> it's because it's on Native American land. And there's this whole, mm -hmm. like, curse. They're saying that this, the ranch is cursed, okay? That's what they're saying. That That's what the lore is, is the ranch is cursed. And that's why all this shit happens. But they've had, like, cows mysteriously die and, like, all this sorts of shit, right? So all these stories. So there's, like, the woo-woo side of it and there's this Native American tie-in. And then there's also, like, okay, this shit's actually happening in real time. Like, we have scientific evidence of fucking UFOs over the ranch. Like, we, we see them appearing and then fucking disappearing into nothing. Um, they've caught all these light anom anomalies, all these crazy experiments that they've done, all this science. Like, so crazy. Okay? It's so crazy. And so I think you'd actually really like it, being someone who's more analytical. Like, you would enjoy this. But anyway, like I, I brought that up to talk about the wormhole thing. Like he is legitimately considering that there could be physical, the first physical evidence ever. Are you good? Yeah, I'm just looking at my movies to see if I have that one movie. Sorry, oh. go on. The first phys distracted. physical evidence ever of a wormhole like on our fucking planet. And he thinks that that is quite legitimately how these UFOs could be going back and forth basically as quickly as they are. Because they're, they're there and then they're fucking gone. And they're disappearing on and about this very one singular spot above the ranch. And lots of weird shit happens there. So, I don't know. That's to just get a little off topic. Not really off topic. It's kind of crazy, scary, woo shit. So, Reminds me of this movie. Contact. There's like, so, in the movie, she's a scientist. He's like, I think he's a preacher or something. Um, basically, like, she doesn't believe in God, that sort of thing, and then, like, he does, and then they get to, it's Matthew Conaghan and Jodie Foster, gotcha. and anyway, she's trying to contact, see, aliens, um, but then she, I don't know if she ends up being, like, believing God, but the whole, like, oh, he didn't believe in this stuff, but ended up believing in this stuff, so yeah. it just reminds me of that movie. That's a good, really, it's one of those movies that every time it came on TV, like, my dad and I would watch it, so, sorry. Don't mean to no, you're good. Like, I own that movie. Well, and then if you wanted to get on the God topic, I mean, like, there's there's times where, like, and I don't know that I 100% disagree, but, like, there are people who truly believe that the best evidence for aliens is in the fucking Bible. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we could get into that or not, but there are lots of things in the Bible that people have translated to make what they wanted it so to like say a, like angels or something and yeah so well um, an angels in the bible are fucking terrifying, terrifying. apparently they're they're about like a bunch of eyes and arms and r wings or whatever and what it's does like, that fucking sound like to you yeah aliens an alien so i mean one person's alien could be another person's angel right just saying well, it's also, we were talking about how this, like you said, the civilization, or they found all these structures that, like, no civilization around at that time could have built. Right. Well, it's like, that happened in the movie, the 2005, I'm not sure about the original one, but the 2005 World War of the Worlds. Um, yes. Yeah. So always hard to see. That basically, that's what happened. Like, the aliens came up, they're like, they thought the lightning being struck was the aliens coming down, but no, it was the aliens coming out of the ground. Because yes. they, like, years ago had buried their ships. Yeah. And then now came out of the ground. Well, and think about it. 
how much of our ocean is unexplored? We know more about oh, like space 90, than we 90 do our ocean. Something percent, like right. 90 something percent. We know, like, we, we know more about space than yes. we do our ocean. Than we do our own oceans. And so many fucking stories, even the ones that are coming from like the Navy and the government, are saying these people are seeing this shit come out of the fucking water. There was there was literally a video, a TikTok video of this. It was a sailor, um, not like a Navy sailor, but like yeah. a fisher um fishing ship. And you hear in the video, he goes, What does that sound like to you? It sounded like sirens, like yeah. mermaid sirens. Like seeing and like he see like what looks like dolphins, but like they were too weird looking to be Ooh, dolphins. The and they look they look glow. What? Find the video. Um, let me see, because it was like I remember seeing on TikTok, um, sirens. Which I mean, that could be faked, but whatever. It could. I'm just curious. But, but it's like that at some point, like that guy that made the video, he disappeared, and then there was another one. There was another guy who. The hell? Yeah, there was another one. Oh, what was his name? Our, hey, I started. I felt like. I, <laughs> well, there's another one that I found that this guy was. I think it was Alaska. He. Saw something on the top of the mountain. Looked like a giant. Like an actual giant on top of a mountain that he, like, drives near, like, it's near yeah. his house or something. And then he goes, well, that's really weird. So he goes in there, to, but all of a sudden, there's a structure built on top of that. Then, like, people come to his house, like, what he thinks are, like, CIA agents come to his house. And, Men like, black. try to basically, basically get to try to get, and he disappeared. He died. The guy died. Like, after finding this random, um... Sailor video. Oh fuck! We don't believe any of this. Just kidding. Let me see. It's all fake. It's all fake. Please don't come for us. Is this I don't the believe. Video? I mean, it sounds like it sounds like whale, like like dolphins, because dolphins can make noises that yeah. sound like people. But for sure. Um, I don't know how to screen share. There we go. Screen. And you should be able to choose I... your tab. Okay. Whatever tab is open. Okay. Okay, let's see it. I hear it. I hear. Where's she at? What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? That ain't no dolphin. And then you'll see something, I think. This is crazy. I heard it. I heard it. I hear it. Oh my god. That ain't no dolphin. This is crazy. And, like, I thought in this video you see, like, something swimming along the side of it that, like, that ain't no dolphin. That is loud as fuck. And, like, some marine biologist is like, yes, that's a fucking dolphin, you fucking idiot. Screaming like that? Yeah. Since when do dolphins scream? Right. And, like, but there was, like, one, and I don't know if I'm sure if it was another video that he took, but it looked like, what, looked like white dolphins, like, going up, like, just going along and they like glowed they were like it's oh, dark as, as shit outside and you can like va like very clean clearly see them um, well i mean i know beluga whales kind of look like that yeah but yeah that's crazy that was loud as fuck mm -hmm. that did not sound like any kind of animal like i know that that's like it can sound like screams like that like echolocation can sound like that underwater but mm -hmm. that sounded like it was above the water to me that did not right. sound underwater at all. And also, how is his phone camera picking? I mean, I guess he could have just put the scream over the video. I mean, you could add that as a sound. But, like, I don't know. That's crazy to me. Crazy as hell. But, yeah, uh, I guess we probably should have said if you're listening, not yeah, watching. Yeah, sorry. Uh, headphones. You're listening, headphone not watching. Warning. Headphone warning. <laughs> it's very loud. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I know that's crazy. I mean, that's shit like that. Like, how do we, how do we know what the fuck is in the ocean? Shit, I think scares me more than the space shit. If you want to be real, mm -hmm. like, what the fuck is already here? 
that we need to be worried about. Like, what the fuck is there? There's some scary shit. Like, just, I, I think, okay, let let's be very real. I think 90% of what lives in the ocean is aliens. Mm -hmm. Like, if you've seen some of them damn fish, have you seen some of them them fish that they catch on them, like, deep ocean submarines? Like, them is fucking aliens. Octopuses are aliens. I'm convinced. Mm -hmm. I'm or convinced. giant squids. Yeah, I'm convinced. No, I'm convinced, like, octopus, like, I say octopi is actually not the right thing. I looked it up. It's actually octopuses. But octopuses are, are aliens. I believe it. They're very fucking smart. They are learning like from us right like they're learning things and they have little brains of their own even though they're not supposed to technically have those like how these motherfuckers learn how to open shit how you learn what we look like like there was this whole thing this whole story about this octopus that like they trained like they did this thing with this octopus where every time this one particular person would come in he would be wearing a certain color shirt and that person would bother the octopus every time it came in and then a different person wearing the same color shirt would come in and feed the octopus so to rule out that the octopus realized what color shirt it was would react like they made them wear the same shit when they came in then over time every time this person would walk past this octopus's tank it would squirt mm -hmm. ink at him like, it learned its, his face. And every time that person would walk by, it would squirt ink at the person. Because it knew that it didn't like that person. Because every time that person showed up, it would fuck with it. You mean to tell me that motherfucker ain't a sentient being? Right. Just missing its body. Or evolved to not fucking need one. And what's funny is I, I mentioned uh, the the show Resident Alien earlier that, that also had, like, an octopus. Like, basically, they the aliens had evolved from octopus. Yeah. Octopuses. Um, and so, like, Nathan Fillion voiced the octopus in in the show. He's like, hey, my brother, how you doing? Like? What do our <laughs> brains look like? Mm-hmm. If you pulled brain up out the body and just had it chill, what does it look like? With the brain stem? And all the fucking nerves. What does it look like? Right. It looked like an octopus. No, I don't trust it. Like, let me let me just screen share one more thing because there's there's actually not the original video I saw. Like, I I'll share this the because it's four minutes long, so I won't show yeah. the whole thing. But but do you the... trust it? Do you trust the octopus thing? I don't. I feel like they're no. aliens. I feel like they know they're aliens, and I feel like they fuck with us. I feel See. like they're gonna be ruling the world one of these days. Let them motherfuckers figure out how to breathe on land. And we're done. Okay, so this is the one I'll send you, because it's like, this one's four minutes long. This is the original one I saw. But this is the one where... It's like there's a giant on top of this mountain. Is it? Whoa! No, seriously, pull over, pull over. What the fuck is that? A person standing there and this no, guy's dead no. dude yeah this guy's dead what I've seen right oh now? my god there's a then like later there's like a structure that was built on there and like helicopters pulling things away but like it's this tell me about something i won't show the whole video of this blow your mind andrew dawson andrew's story will forever leave me with huge questions he was posting normal, goofy, everyday content. I don't think you can park there! It seemed like he had <laughs> such a big sense of humor, and then everything changed when he posted this video that literally changed his life. He was just driving down the road one day, and he thought he saw a giant on top of this mountain. So he pulls out his phone to record it, and he's zooming in, and you can see what appears to be... And of course, yeah, the TikTok like... community was like hyping him up and encouraging him to search for more answers. He posted several videos explaining why the quality was so low, like he was zooming in so far. It's hard to be zoomed in. He also mentions that he tried to get back up to the side of the mountain, but there was like a CIA agent there and they were doing some sort of environmental project and that he was trespassing, so he needed to leave. He thought that was kind of weird, so he decided to wake up really early in the morning and go back in hopes that nobody would be there and he'd be able to make it up the side of that mountain. Things are already kind of weird, but it gets even weirder. He's driving back towards that same mountain again, and he says he sees something in the sky. 
And now Andrew was thinking that he's seeing a UFO in the sky. Like, what is this light? He later sees two helicopters flying in the sky and they're extracting something. You can literally see that this helicopter is taking something really large. Like they took that down from the side of the mountain. He tries to go up the mountain again and that's when he runs into this car. You could hear the tone in his voice when he's asking the person if he can go up and they're telling him no. He sounds like he knows he messed up. Like he shouldn't have gone up the side of that mountain, but he's so curious and he's like fully invested at this point. And his next upload, He's showing that there's a car outside of his house and it looks to be the exact same car that he saw on the side of the mountain. He runs outside yelling. He's trying to figure out what's going on and the car just drives off. Next, he uploads a video where he seems so out of character. His hands are tucked in his pockets. He's nervous, his eyes are shifting and he's just not being himself. It doesn't fit his previous videos. Also the lighting and how he's backed up against the wall, it seems almost forced. And then he posts this video. You might not see me post ever again. He also says that his videos are not fake. He uploads another video showing that same mountain, but now there's some sort of like fort or building on top of it. And the building just appeared like out of nowhere overnight. And that's it. There's no more uploads on his account. I think everybody is thinking the same thing, Damn. right? Like we're all thinking that being him and she says, I miss yeah, you I and can't... I love you. People thought that he was faking everything, like beginning to start. And then somebody was able to find his obituary. His wife continuously was being harassed and she ended up saying that it's not what you're thinking, that he just passed from natural causes and everybody just needs to leave it alone. And then she would upload other things that seemed like it kind of contradicted that. Like somebody had mentioned to her, wear purple in your next video if you're in danger. And her next video, she was wearing purple. If you do fall down the Andrew Dawson rabbit hole, please be respectful. Do not go and spam his wife. Let her. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sounds like, whoa. We'll link that video too. Um, so yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. There's, I mean, I feel like we could be here for five hours if we got down the yeah. conspiracy theory rabbit hole, but like. That was even one of my like my ideas for a video one day would be just conspiracy theories. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, it, it is it is creeping past ten o'clock. So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm 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 losing brain cells, and I I have to be at work tomorrow. Me too. And I have to refresh the wards in my house tomorrow, which takes a lot of energy from me that I already don't have. Because it's also the dark half of the year now. So my mental health is already declining mm -hmm. oh, rapidly. Here you go. Seasonal depression. Have uh, fun. And I'm unmedicated for depression right now. Because they had to take me off of my meds. So that my blood pressure could come down. Because they were reacting with my Vyvanse. It's great. So Being I, need to fun. Get, I need to get new medication soon. But as we all know with spicy brains... Uh, that can be hard to find one that works for you. And then depression medicine doesn't work like that. Like, it takes time to build. So, uh, yeah. About that. Time to go. So, anyway. Yep. Thanks for listening to the uh, Neurodivergent Conspiracy Hour. Uh, we appreciate you very much for this. It was a fun little spooky sewed. Spooky Halloween conspiracy sewed. Maybe uh, we'll make it a two parter. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how the how this cookie crumbles. Hopefully it doesn't fucking crumble. Hopefully it stays the fuck together. <laughs> and in the right order, so I don't have to tear it apart and put it back together like a fucking Lego piece that I knocked over or some shit that I have no fucking manual for. <sighs> it's like if you built the Harry Potter castle, right? Mm -hmm. The like five hundred dollar yeah. goddamn Lego set. And then you accidentally burnt the fucking book that came with it after you knocked it over. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it no, no manual exists online. Yeah, and then there's no manual online anywhere or no tutorials on how to put it together. It's, just, it's all it's secret. Just, it's just gone forever. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go. Yep. If you wanna find go. us, uh, all of our shit's in the show notes. And in the description down below, uh, if you're watching.
Uh, what the fuck else? Oh, uh, Discord, Instagram, everywhere. So the are NDC. Platformed. We are mm-hmm. at the T H E N D C podcast. Everywhere socials are platform. Uh, Discord. Facebook. 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 Twitter. Facebook. Instagram. Tweeters. Facebook. That you Tweeters. Be, well, X now. You can X I'm us. not calling it X. Sorry. I, I Elon Musk can go fuck himself. I'm not you calling it X. If you want to X us, you could do so on X. <laughs> that sounds stupid. I can't say it without putting that kind of emphasis on it. X. Like, I can't. You can just say X. <laughs> <laughs> the tweeter. Go to the tweeter. We don't tweet. I don't tweet. I just made the tweeter. I made a tweeter so we could have the handle in case we ever needed a tweeter. So I have yep. one of those. Uh, everywhere social is platformed. It's at the, 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 I can't say it the other way. The NDC podcast. Uh, also the Discord. Please go join. Uh, we will be putting all of our Halloween pictures that we discussed in this episode over on the Discord. Uh, if you have neurodivergent memes and you would like to fill our neurodivergent meme shelf, please do so. Anywhere socials are platformed using the hashtag if the meme fits share it that's the hashtag please do that uh you can also add it to the discord thing uh oh you got a burp cough i burped she coughed um you uh can do that at the discord portion if the meme fits share it it has its own little house over on discord uh smash that like button Ring that bell. <laughs> Ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. Like and subscribe. We post videos Share. every week. Every week. <laughs> on Thursday. Hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. The, the fucking things work. We didn't first time. Yeah. Because so. this stupid fucking platform <laughs> shat the bed. So it's not going to do that again. Or we're going to cancel Hopefully. it. Get canceled, YouTube. I will cancel it. I'm not fucking around. Like, I, I, I will cancel it, because I don't have time for this shit. It's either gonna fucking work, or I'm not paying for it no more. But anyway, I gotta go. I love you. Yeah. I love you. And, this uh, was fun. This was fun. We should do this again. Maybe next week. Maybe maybe next week. <laughs> 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 okay. I, I, I love you. I love you, too. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.